Well, hello there, my dear user. Zidey boy here. I don't know if you can see. Oh, there you go. That's the sunlight. So, how are you not going to make a god, a goddamn? Yo, how are you not going to make a? Like, if you're into this thing, like, like YouTubing and making videos, then, yo, it's beautiful. But there's so many places like this in Toronto, right? They call Toronto city within a park city within a park yo brampton which is one of the suburbs of the gta the greater toronto authority or what have you i think they have some similar kind of uh like uh what is this thing like slogan or something like this you know and the 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 slogan for ontario in general is discover ontario it's beautiful and you know what over here you can, I think you can see this building popping out of it. Like, so that's basically what this is, right? City within a park kind of deal. Yo, are you going to smile or wait for YouTube or not, bro? Come on, bro. Yo, nice hair, man. Sorry, man. Sorry, not sorry, bro. Yo, is that the birdie? Yo, that's not a very Canadian ass fucker. Yo! Anyway, so uh, that's what happens. Like, basically, I, I, I've been talking about sales. But... I think I'm going to revert back to just general rubbish, general rubbish, right? So it is sunny and I've got this thing with the glasses. I'll tell you what it is, dear user, in, in the mode of transparency like this. This is how I am, as you know. I like to uh, just say what's on my mind. I have a problem with the eyes when I'm making these YouTube videos. You know, obviously, it's very important to have eye contact. The way you should do that is by looking at the lens, right? But it's very difficult because they really should put a little white circle around the thing. You get distracted by your face and even that little bit of difference, you know, you're looking slightly to the side as opposed to the lens. Now, I remember reading this story when I was a kid in school. And there was like some kind of family and there was, they, like there was some kind of, they had some kind of nanny. They had a nanny, right? And the nanny was uh, evil. She turned out to be an evil robot or some goddamn thing like this, right? So now the way these kids learned to set her off is they did something called eyes right, right? So they basically, they basically, instead of looking at her in the eyes, you can do this to people. I mean, unfortunately, I have a habit of doing this. It's been pointed out, and I'm much better. At, I mean, like right, right now, I, I have this thing under control. But I used to look to the side because I'd be. It's not nervousness for me. It's you're lost in thought. Here's a very interesting thing. Right, more buildings over there. So there's Humber College over here, and they've got like apartment buildings. And my building is something like this too. Like you go down the trail here a bit and then you'll just see this thing popping out like our building is like 19 floors and so it like pops right out of the forest anyway so now when a person's talking my elder brother told me this you can tell when someone's lying right how can you tell when someone's lying when they are looking to the left okay they are remembering when they are looking to the right they are imagining if you ask someone a question and they're looking to the right, it means they're making the thing up. If you ask them a question about what happened, for example, and they look to the left, it means that they are obviously, covidiously, right? They are um, remembering, recalling. So if you look to the left, that's truth. And if you look, and it, it works, it works. I do it all the time. Like, let's see if we can get these bikers to wait for YouTube right yo bikers go bikers go bike yo wait for youtube bikers come on yo give us a smile at least i hello thank you so having fun right and uh the trail and there's humber humber college and all this kind of stuff so now um lovely lady eh? very nice like she was the typical canuck okay so the the topic of this video after my four minute and 52 second intro or whatever the fuck that was sorry for swearing i'll try and keep it r-rated which is one f-bomb 
Guys, I want to talk about people because that's what's on my mind. Guys, there's a very beautiful saying of Imam Ali, peace be upon him. The saying is as follows. By the way, every saying, everything that ever was spoken, everything that was ever spoken by Imam Ali, 99% of it, it appears rhymed, just like the Quran. He used to give long speeches for hours, like just rhyming. Like he was an amazing man, of course, and uh, we believe he was a man of miracles, a divine representative, the successor of Prophet Muhammad, so forth, that there's always a divine representative on earth, uh, a person who is pure and sinless and such, and, and has these qualities which basically um, are required in order to be that person to establish religion and to do things like this. It's like they say that Prophet Muhammad like planted the religion, right? He, he, he sold, he sold the seeds and stuff like that. And the holy imams, peace be upon him, the holy imams that came after him. I hope the, 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 like I, I really hope the. Uh, look how beautiful this is. It really is just like being in the wilderness, right? And people talk about Seattle, like this kills Seattle. This is just Toronto. Like, what to say, Vancouver? Because in the states, in the states, you don't have this, like. Water front access and trails. Well, I mean, if you go into the woods in Seattle, sure, but in the city of Seattle, all the waterfront is basically, hello, YouTube. In the city of Seattle, all the waterfront is, it's got, um, it's basically got, so that's Humber Valley and Humber River and the trail goes on forever. I haven't, like, I've gone way down the trail. There, there's a hospital right there, Etobicoke General Hospital. And I just want to go to the up to the Humber bus, uh, the bus uh, goddamn station. So I want to really very f quickly finish off what I'm saying. The holy Imams, peace be upon them, from the family of Muhammad is who we Shias follow. We believe they're sinless. They're just like Jesus. Muhammad, peace be upon him, is just like Jesus, peace be upon him. And like they, they are basically they are manifestations of God. You look at these guys, and it's like you just are reminded of God you're taken to God like their actions and the way they are is so amazing that uh, I mean and there's no room for error right there's no room for yo Noah got drunk we don't believe that prophet Noah peace be upon him got drunk prophet David peace be upon him yo he uh, he killed he killed he he killed one of his commanders and slept with his wife like he murdered and he fornicated like so the guy who's come to teach you about religion is a fornicator. That's what you're saying? The guy who's come to spread God's word, he's a drunkard. Is that, that's really what you're saying. We don't believe this. We say that... <clears throat> we say that... It's interesting, right? You just come out into the wilderness, you see all kinds of amazing stuff. Guys, you got to get away. I keep saying this. My friend Joe Morgante. Hey, Joe, if you watch this. What are you doing with that gun in your hand, by the way, bro? Yo, um... He, he liked my message the last time, which is that get outdoors. Like, I have the privilege of living right next to this trail. So, like, I can literally take the trail and I go, like, I take a detour earlier and I go up and there's, like, Woodbine Mall over there. And, uh, yeah, man, Fortinos, right? And then uh, this is the first time I've come to take the bus this way. Because I don't actually know where the bus stops at, at the, like, the last time I was standing in the wrong place and stuff like this. Anyway, at the college, at Humber College. So now, Imam Ali, peace be upon him, he said, I forget, I forget, I forget, I was going to talk about people. Oh, yes, yes, here we go. Ad-Dahar, Ad-Dahar Yawmain. All of time is two days. Ad-Dahar Time, like there's this chapter in the Quran called Dahar, which means time. It could mean the age or the era. It could mean your lifetime. It means time or age. Dahar Yawmain, your time is two days. Yawman Laka wa Yawman Alayka. Yawman Laka means a day for you. Yawman Alayka means a day against you. So what you're going to find is like some days, like everything rolls in your favor. Imam Ali said the same thing at another place. He said... Well, things go against you sometimes and you get blamed for stuff you don't do. But on other times, you get credit for things that you don't do, right? So the thing balances out. 
Yawmun laka wa yawmun alayka. Right? So there's a day for you and there's a day against you. I wanted to talk about people. What I wanted to say is that this line of Imam Ali is similar.